Hello everyone, I hope you guys are doing great and studies going in full swing. Just a few days going for your CA final exams and I hope your preparations and your studies are going in full josh. Okay, and your josh is high. So, obviously today we would be discussing a very important aspect we are going to discuss regarding the study plan that you should follow for your CA final FR, paper number one. How many days should we allot ideally? How do you prepare for MCQs? What is the sequence of topics to be followed? Uh, how many hours per topic is something that we are going to briefly discuss. So this is a plan that you can see on your screen and this is we have tried to make it day wise. So ranging from seven days that is a week up to four days uh, depending on how much time you are allocating I would suggest at least giving uh, four days if not more. The ideal plan I would say is a six day plan where you would at least give six days for your preparation and that should be the ideal will get done in a very very comfortable way but obviously if you have lesser time you can kind of mold it even if you have less than four days for example you have three days then you can just divide the hours etc that you have given for the six day plan divided by two and make your target accordingly but preferably at least give five to six days that is an ideal uh, way so that is my ideal time frame that i should allocate and hence your preparation should start let us say from 26th of april if you can start earlier nothing like it but if not 26th or 27th of april is an ideal time frame where you start with your preparations at this point i would strongly recommend that you do not refer anything new so whatever you have done trust me that is sufficient and that is what consolidate your strengths don't really focus on your weaknesses at this point just kind of refresh and consolidate whatever you have done rather than touching new things what is not done is fine in all probability that will not come in the exam so don't worry about that but what you have done so many hours that you have put in ensure that you kind of make them count and focus on what you have done studying something new takes a lot of time as well as kind of affects your confidence a little so might as well at this stage do whatever you have done only that is the first thing Secondly, a lot of this is the first time you're probably going to sit for an MCQ paper and hence should we prepare for MCQs at this stage? I don't think so. If you have done MCQs earlier and you have, if you have marked out the MCQs where you have probably made mistakes or you think they are important is when you can refer MCQs separately only those relevant parts but other than that if your core content is in order your MCQs automatically fall in place and hence you don't need to refer MCQs separately at this stage. In terms of your study sequence now, how do you kind of pace up your preparation? I would strongly recommend you mix and match. You cover everything and FR paper is one of the papers where you can cover everything. So you kind of uh, do some bigger topics, then do indices, do bigger topics, again do indices. Don't keep all the bigger topics for the end or at the start. Maybe if you keep it for the end and if you're not able to garner enough time, that will be a very risky uh, a proposition even if you do it at the start it can probably burn you out as well and maybe take a lot of time so it's best if you mix and match so over here you should kick start your preparation ideally with the share based payment chapter and the financial instruments section so do financial instruments and share based payment for topics like financial instruments devote a reasonably good amount of time okay and uh, get done with it properly especially the numerical sections so uh, we will start let us say with the share based payments and the financial instruments section you can try to do that in a particular day's time then you can focus on the asset link standards the pp standard intangibles inventories uh, borrowing cost agriculture non-current assets held for sale impairment all of these asset link standards can easily get done uh, in a day's time so probably devoting around an hour hour and a half for the smaller topics like investment property whereas devoting around anywhere between two two and a half hours for a bigger topic like a pp or an impairment for example should kind of suffice do i need to write everything on pen and paper i don't think so except for the bigger consolidation and business combination questions one or two questions you should do on pen and paper to get the flow at this stage you do not necessarily need to write everything and solve it is necessary to let you touch upon uh, uh, the as many sums as possible so you do the asset link standards then all asset link standards except for leases so you go to leases and then do business combination so for the third day that is on 20th april do leases and business combination so these are two fairly big topics 
it's fine if the entire day goes even in business common even in leases the important part sits in the middle like the accounting for leases modification remeasurement etc even in case of business combination from the section of purchase consideration to the numerical questions involving uh, the entire business combination the mergers reverse acquisition etc ensure that you do those properly at least one or two questions the bigger ones try to do it on pen and paper with the flow that how are you going to do it in a uh, preparing notes preparing schedule three time yourself to that extent so that will really be helpful again from there you go back uh, to consolidation on the next day because business combination and consolidation flow as a logical sequence preferably along with business combination you should also cover deferred taxes because there's a lot of deferred tax adjustments along with business combination so cover deferred taxes and then do consolidation and joint ventures after that so that takes care of consolidation business combination next the only big thing that you are left with is 115 which is on revenue recognition which is an institute favorite you might have uh, probably scraped through 115 because it's a big topic but ensure that you do it like financial instruments comes every time almost every time you get a revenue recognition question as well ensure that you do it properly so you will do fine uh, uh, revenue recognition then other topics like foreign exchange employee benefits and a few other topics like eps uh, provisions etc liability based standards you will get done so with this you're kind of done with all the big topics and most of the tier one category stuff as well uh, other than that at the end you will have accounting and tech uh, accounting and technology and ethics from ethics we expect a small question a numerical one where you are expected to kind of comment on the accounting treatment as well as the ethical considerations you can put it in a standardized format like in ethics you will have four parts you will say that first what should be the appropriate accounting treatment second uh, what are the ethical considerations to be considered third what should be the appropriate action to be taken and fourth what is the consequences so you can kind of formulate it and write it accordingly and from accounting and technology it is likely that probably a small theory or an mcq question can possibly come so over here along with accounting and technology and ethics and all the other smaller topics like uh, index one eight ten etc you can kind of keep it for the last one or two days so so that you don't really invest a lot of time if you do it at the beginning you end up investing a lot of time even in topics like index one which at a later stage you can optimize and kind of refer the important areas and proceed so and the last day we have kept as a buffer day maybe if your plans go a little plus or minus you still have some time and if you stick as per plans or even if you do faster you can actually do a quick recap the day before your uh, exams you can do a quick recap from your shield or the concept books or your reference materials that you have for the notes so this is the sequence that you should ideally follow apart from that from an exam perspective ensure that you time yourself properly ensure that you kind of manage your time because it's a 30 and a 70 mark quest, uh, paper typically prefer that you start with uh, a descriptive question that you are most comfortable with get done with that do mcqs as well as consolidation in the or the business combination in the middle of the sub uh, middle of the paper and then keep the end for the other topics which you may not be probably some of the questions which you are not very sure you keep that right for the end don't keep mcqs for the end don't keep the consolidation or business combination section for the end again in your reading time mcqs are compulsory the compulsory question is compulsory so invest your reading time in ensuring that which of the questions should you start with and which is the possible question that you should do the last so this is your main objective when you do the reading time so uh, this is regarding uh, the broad strategy that you can follow day wise hour wise we have tried to share we'll also share this on the telegram channel so that should be it i hope you kind of study really well get your um, get your first paper out of the way and get your exemption in your pocket okay so be confident at this point there there is no one no one remember who can tell you that he's absolutely he or she is absolutely confident and let the exam come everyone is fighting their own battles so you might be a little dilly dicey in some of the topics that's absolutely fine i mean everyone is uh, is kind of not so sure in some or the other areas all you have to do is be confident don't let that nervousness get into you it is very normal for you to feel a little uh, nervous but remember it is just an exam you have studied hard you have given your best and then leave everything else to destiny and god but you give your best effort okay there's no point uh, worrying about things which are beyond your control focus on the process and the result will be yours i'll see you soon bye bye take care and good luck